With the Mail Merge feature, you can produce personalized letters, mailing labels and memos to send to a large number of people without having to type each one individually. Companies use this feature regularly to send standard letters to customers in which the body of the letter is the same but the name, address and a few pieces of additional information may be different. Two files are used during the process, the main document with the contents to send to all the people and the data source document containing all the personal information like names and addresses, in this case stored in a database. I am going to show you how to use Mail Merge with a scenario similar to the one in the IGCSE ICT exam from 2013. This is the scenario. Peter Evans wants to send a letter to sponsors who have donated at least $30 to the zoo. He has prepared the content of the letter and saved it as Mail Merge. He has a list of sponsors stored in a database called Sponsors. Open the Mail Merge document and enter your candidate name and number and center number in the footer of the document. Now to do that we go to Insert. We want the footer. And as we need three types of information we can select this one. Here we can write the name and of course capital letter. Here would be the candidate number and then the center number. Then we can close header and footer. The letter needs to be edited before it is merged with the database. Edit the document by inserting the logo in the right hand side of the header. So I'm going to double click to open the header. I need on the right side, so I'm going to use the tab button to go to the right side. I'm going to go to insert, choose picture. And I have the logo stored on the desktop. Here it is. Double click on the logo. Now I have to minimize it by dragging from the corners. And then I'm going to go to text wrapping and select tight. And then I can click and drag it to the location that fits best. This should be OK. Now I can go to header and footer and close header and footer or I can double click outside to go out from the header. The next one says insert today's date in a suitable location. So the date should appear somewhere here. So I'm going to press tab again from my from the keyboard. We're going to go to insert and press date and time and here we get the date. You can choose one of these double click to enter it. Now this should not be in red so I'm going to select it and go to home change the color to black and as you can see this takes the date from the computer and it's the 8th of April. Perfect. Format the subject line appropriately so it stands out. Now first we have to find the subject line. This is about the sponsor, his details and then the name of the sponsor. So this should be the subject line. So I'm going to select it, change it to bold, and I can increase the letter size also. And this stands out well. Now it says, insert the appropriate complementary close. Now the complementary close would come here at the bottom. So I'm going to press enter to get some more space. And to do this, we have to know what is an appropriate close for letters. And here I have some examples that you can use. And it's good to memorize these and learn for future use. As you can see, here are a few. I'm going to use yours sincerely. So I'm going to right click and select copy. I'm going to open the document again. And then right click. And I can also say here paste and select paste special and unformatted text so it will not have the same format as it had in the other letter. So it's the same format, you can check it. Here it says Arial 11 
If you click inside the other text, you can see it's also Arial 11. Now it says, to be able to insert the name and the role of the sender, we need to go back to the scenario where it tells us that this is Peter Evans and that he is the managing director. So I can press enter here twice. I put the name of the managing director, Peter Evans. And as he is a managing director, I insert the title underneath. And then we will have to add space underneath also. Then it says, make sure you leave enough space for a signature. So we have to make sure that we have enough space for the signature to go here in between. The sponsor details are stored in the information table of the sponsor's database. Add merge fields to the document that will replace the text in the brackets with appropriate information from the database. Peter wants to check and sign the letters before they are posted. Produce the merged letters using the mail merge document and the sponsor's database. First we need to go to the mailings tab. Here we're going to select start mail merge and step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. It says here what type of document are you working on. It's a letter, so I'm going to press next. I am going to use the current document as we have it ready here. And then we select next. We're going to use an existing list that we have, the database. So we're going to go now and select a different list. We're going to find the sponsors database here, sponsors. And here you can see the list of the people, the sponsors, and their information. So we select OK. We could have also edited this and added more people into the list over here. But we're not going to do that this time. So we're going to write our letter. And we want to, before we preview our letter, we have to say what's going to come inside the brackets. Here it tells us that it should be sponsor's name and address. So we're going to go to insert merge field and select first name. We also needed the address, so we're going to add that underneath. Address 1, enter. Address 2, enter. And of course the postcode. Now we have inserted the name and the address. Here it says insert the sponsor's name. So we select this and we select first name. Then it tells us here to insert the animal's name. So we're going to select this. Be careful not to select the full stop. And then insert merge field. And here's the animal name. Are there any other fields we need to merge? No, not in this letter. So now what will happen is we click preview our letter and we can see how the information are merged. You can now check the next letter. This one's for Barbara, this one's for Oliver. And we have three, four recipients in this letter. And all the information come out right. In the exam, you were asked to print one of the merged letters on one side of A4. So I'm going to show you how you could do that. We'll go to the first recipient. I'm going to close this. We go to print and select the printer of course. And you're only asked to print one page. So you will click here and press 1 on the keyboard. And then OK to print it out.